today's video, I'm going over six styling mistakes that you probably are doing that actually can make you feel depressed or anxious. And I will go over some things that you can do instead to help alleviate depression and anxiety. Hi, I'm Frederic. And watching social media can actually elevate your anxiety levels. Studies show that heavy social media can increase the risk of depression, anxiety, loneliness, fear of missing out, cyberbullying, self-harm, and even suicidal thoughts. So stop comparing yourself with the hit girls on Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok you know with the perfect body the perfect derriere the perfect skin the perfect boobs a flat stomach the dream closet the dream boyfriend or husband the dream kids the house the car and the list goes on first of all social media is not real those girls they know the right angles for the cameras they use photoshop heavily or facetune on their phone Secondly, they probably have hair extension, fake nails, a tons of makeup. They probably not their real clothes. Maybe they're being lent or being given. And talk about designer items. They probably buy and maybe take the picture with it and return to the brand. They do not look like this in real life. Instead, for social media, just follow people that are more authentic, relatable, and use as well social media to connect with your friends that may be in a different countries or um, in different communities as well. Social media will never replace a good old-fashioned face-to-face. You can also try to reduce the time you're spending on social media by timing. I like setting up an alarm on my phone, so for 30 minutes, and I know I'm watching way too much TikTok. <laughs> I would like also recommend a YouTuber that you could watch. Her name is Stephanie Lund. She's Australian. I do believe she lives in Ireland now, and she's making a lot of those videos about influencers versus reality i will link a handle below to support my work and smile please give me a big thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe if you haven't done it yet thank you a cluttered house a cluttered wardrobe might be making you sick physically and mentally declutter literally can soften everything around your home and it's being scientifically proven to have a soothing effect in the mind. Do you think it's a coincidence that lately there are so many shows on Netflix or on TV about decluttering, organizing your home such as Marie Kondo or The Home Edit? No, it's not. So here are three easy steps that will help you to declutter in a smart and efficient way. First one, do not organize your wardrobe before you start decluttering because that will be really a, a waste of time. Reverse the process by you declutter first, you purge, you give away what you don't need to, and then you start organizing your wardrobe based on your lifestyle. Don't do everything in one day. Start by small project. I do exactly the same actually as well for cleaning. I do one room at a time, the bedroom, the walking, the bathroom, etc. Do not declutter without a system. You need a system to help you. You can create a list. You have your bags already, yet you organize to donate. I look at time. It takes time to do it. So be in the right mood for that. And a word that I can barely pronounce, do not procrastinate. <laughs> I hate this word, but it's so important <laughs> because no one will do for you. So you have to do it. Just kick in the derriere and just do it because not only you're going to be proud of yourself when it will be done and you will so much, much calmer and organized. Having my wardrobe organized helped me to see exactly where my clothes are. For example, to organize the jeans by colors and size. I do the same with the shirts, with long sleeve, a short sleeve. Um, the underwear so not only it helped me to get ready in no time but it also helped me with my work to create multiple videos to help you there are so many studies done of the psychological effects of colors this is so much important that i dedicated a full module in my styling course about it when i help you to find out what is the best color based on your skin tone i will link the access to the free course it's a preview of my full course and you can watch it and it's free.
I will link everything below for you. So for example, we do know that bright blues, emerald and deep purple will look amazing on people with a cool undertone. Like red, orange, amber and yellow look great with a warm undertone. And for people who have a neutral undertone like me, the best colors will be off-white, black, grey that you look amazing in it. You know as well, it's not a rule for everybody, I get that, but usually more extravert people will wear more bright colors. <laughs> I'm laughing because you're gonna say, well, she's extravert and she's wearing black. True. <laughs> And also, usually more shy or introvert people will wear, we have a tendency to wear more muted colors. But wearing certain colors can really having an effect on your mood. Let's start with black. Black is an elegant, chic, sophisticated color and it offers emotional protection. So it's a great color during a vulnerable moment of your life or even going for a job interview. Blue reflects calm, strength, and tranquility perfect also for an interview or for client presentation pink is youthful it's playful feminine it's great for an event a party or a day green it's a relaxed color it makes you feel safe it's also a symbol of a new beginning it's great to wear after a stressful period to boost your mood white is color of purity cleanliness innocence and nobility it's perfect to wear to feel refreshed and start a new project gray one of my favorite color it's calm mystery intelligence and responsibility it's perfect for a job it's perfect for soothing anxiety and it's a very classy color orange is friendliness happiness energy fun it's perfect for hosting an event or going to network to an event. Yellow as the sun, summer, optimism, positivity, hope and energy. It's great to improve your concentration, inspire a workout or a Viking mood. It's a summer vibe, okay? For purple, it's luxury, spirituality, sophistication. Great for a photo shoot because it's, it, it's cute to a lot of people. And it's also very empowering color for an event. Red, passion, romance, boldness is perfect if you want to grab the attention and if you like super confident and feeling in a sexy mood but it can also trigger anger and aggression or danger also i would like you to pay attention when someone else will give you a compliment about a color you're wearing that means it's probably a color that it really suits you and maybe you should wear this color more often. There is nothing worse than wearing the wrong shoes that torture your feet all day or discovering a hole on your top in the middle of a day at work or even you know when sometimes you're in the front of a client and you talk and you have a button pop up just at the level of your bra. <laughs> Can you tell I'm talking about experience there? I've done all of them. And my specialty, you go out and you discover you have a toothpaste stress on your black top and people look at you because yeah, it looks a bit suspicious. <laughs> so if you have to go to an event or a work event and you need to wear heels, wear the heels in the last minute. And if possible, have a big bag, keep your flat, drive in your flat or take public transport and at the last minute usually you used to do that in the lift before going to the event and i put the heels also i know it's a tricky one but for heels for example try to not to walk too long and try to sit as much as you can also did you know you can use some products to have more comfortable fit inside of your heels you have some spray um, and of course i will highly recommend you to have a ton of band head just in case in your handbag and when you're back home and your feet are killing you try some ice cube on your feet it will help for the button who's popping out that's probably definitely a wardrobe malfunction that means as well maybe your shirt or whatever you're wearing with a, a button it might be too big or too tight and it's too tight around your breast or maybe it just use or not super good quality and it's pop keep popping up you have to sew 
just a little bit the button so it will be hard to undo and putting back again but at least it will stay in place and if you're really scared of that you can still use a safety pin at the back for the toothpaste i'm smiling because i did it two days ago so i'm the queen of that dressed up only after you brush your teeth so this way if you mess your rub it's fine or if you brush your teeth like me naked it's totally fine and then if you need to brush your teeth during the day be sure you bend over the the, the sink or the vanity and double check in a mirror but the good news is it's easy to wash <laughs> the one thing you can do to improve your mood instantly is to increase the amount of natural light that you have in your home nothing is better than natural light it really is serotonin which uh, in the brain which is a chemical to help you to improve your mood and to make you feel good especially when you get changed in a well lit room it will help you to make you feel more energetic and alert and also it will help you to choose the right colors and the right clothes and you will feel much happier so for instance to do that you can place your main mirror close to a window and if you don't have that then if you don't have this option then try to place your mirror the opposite way to the window so the light will reflect into the mirror or makeup because you know we sometimes you just leave the house is dark and you put your makeup in the bathroom try to use those mirror with led lights they actually imitate the daylight so at least you're not going out and you have a ton of bronzer or the blush is in the wrong place that will definitely reduce your stress I like as well putting like a nice backlight behind my mirror because i like create a bit of an ambience actually i'm gonna be honest with you with those light strip i put them everywhere in my home i don't know if you can tell i got some behind my piece of furniture behind i will link them again below they in my amazon shop i love them so much i'm getting a bit too addicted because i put them everywhere they're great as well to put just behind the tv and the furniture behind for your tv and you can switch off all the lights it's just very calming you almost feel like you're going to the cinema love it if you're lucky to have a walking wardrobe but even if you have a small clothes it just check the light of the ceiling if it's too bright or too aggressive as much as we need enough light to see the clothes obviously but to me i'm very sensitive to aggressive light so i like using again those strips everywhere <laughs> <laughs> can do is if you have the space or if you have the opportunity to repaint everything in white so it reflecting even the natural light or you can get those little lights you know you you can ask your husband to do it but if not i use um double sticky tape side it and i put those little lights everywhere and suddenly the wardrobe looks like fantastic it looks like a high-end boutique when it's absolutely not but i love to see my t-shirt the difference between the navy blue and the black did you know that some uh, shops they are using slimming mirrors and they do that as well in the change room or sometimes they i knew a brand like that they're not even putting the right size on the clothes so for example i'm going to talk in a european size for everybody um, for example if you know your body you're 38 and you fit in a pair of jeans of 36 or 34 you're like oh my gosh i'm much slimmer than i thought don't know if brand still doing it but i knew a brand who was doing that in sydney the time i tried the clothes i knew exactly my body shape i knew exactly my size i could fit in almost in extra extra small and i thought no no something is wrong here they're tricking us they also sometimes they use a lot of sense and a lot of dim light have you noticed that um, that is make you feel like a bit at home and they try to make you buy a little bit more so be aware of that but still enjoy going shopping mirrors are not your enemy so stop being negative every time you cross a mirror either way if it's a, a window from a shop a mirror at home in the toilets at work doesn't matter and do not avoid them we don't have a perfect body and it's okay we can definitely dress up to trick the eyes i've done tons of video about that to look taller or slimmer but just be brave and be kind with yourself this one is a really big one so not every style is appealing or practical for every woman there there's so many lifestyle occupation that impact what your style looks like so for not knowing your style it make it can make you feel depressed or anxious because there are so many styles so many choices out there and it can bring confusion 
while shopping or you're dressing up or sometimes you're feeling overdressed or underdressed for that i'm not asking you to define your style because sometimes it takes years to do it and it's a process and i'm here to help but after decluttering your clothes you organize and organizing your closet you can easily access to the clothes and you can easily see what is your palette color and what are the most pieces that you love wearing so much and for the next pieces that are missing in your capsule wardrobe for example make a list first and always ask those questions which type of fabric i like to wear what is my color palette can I mix easily this top with these pants that I already have at home? Can I create a different look with a minimum of clothes, but the quality, the better quality? This is a bit painful, but I did it. Make a list of all your items you have at home. First of all, it will help you to avoid to buy the same items. I'm sure you're smiling right now. Who doesn't have at home five black t-shirts exactly the same? <laughs> not only you will know exactly what you have at home it will help you to also making mistakes when you go shopping so it will save you money and it will help you to create a consistent capsule wardrobe you can also have one more than one style okay for example if you like wearing skirt or soft patterns or light dresses or maybe you're sporty or you're a PT and you need to wear lacra and sneakers all day or maybe you work in corporate and you don't have much choice you have to wear those corporate outfit by the way for the tip when you have to wear a suit every day the only time you can really have fun outside of your accessories is your shoes you can wear bright really nice shoes with your outfit let me know if you would like me to create a video for you about all the different styles to help you to define yours leave a comment look at your clothes look at your shoes your handbag your hats your sunnies everything and ask yourself when was the last time you decided to wear something a little bit different or do you wear the same clothes almost every day that's too sad choose the piece that make you feel warm inside that make you feel confident and sexy and it works as well obviously with colors to reduce anxiety after decluttering all the nose in your closet organize on a sunday and check the weather first seven outfits that you will wear for the following week when you're doing that you pay more attention to each outfit and when you have your outfit completed add one or two items that make you park that make you smile personally i like wearing very simple outfit but then i will add one or two elevated accessories such as a bag earrings watch sunnies and or a hat maybe not all in same time <laughs> please reach for professional help if you are experiencing mental struggles you are not alone and if you have any tips to share please leave a comment so we can help someone else if this video brings you joy and inspiration and you learn something give me a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe as usual but also what i would like you to do is to share this video with a friend a daughter a niece a neighbor we all need support each other also check Check my other videos about styling and fashion look that are very easy to copy and I would like to thank you so much for watching this video. You have a lovely day and I'll see you next time. Ciao ciao!